Hey there, it's Laria, and welcome to Healer UI and Add-ons Part 2. In the first video, we talked a lot about my Healer UI and the read frames I use, the add-ons I use, what I use for mouse overs, etc. I received a lot of questions from you guys asking about different components and specifics about my UI, so I wanted to make a Part 2 video that goes over some specifics of the things that I mentioned in Part 1. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to get your HOTS or other buff indicators to show up as icons on your RAID frames. LVI usually comes with them showing up as these random colored squares on your RAID frames, and a lot of people don't like that. So the first thing I want you to do is to type slash EC. This brings up the LVI customization panel. Now, in order to see what we're actually doing on our RAID frames, we want to bring up the example frames. So I'm going to move the LVI window up just a little, and then I want you to click on unit frames on the left side here. Then I want you to go up to group units and now click on the RAID tab. There should be a button here called display frames. So I'm not actually in a 20 person group right now, but this is what my frames would look like if I was. Now to configure your HOTS so that they show up as icons instead of colors. So now I want us to go back over to the left side and click on filters. So now you should see two things. There should be create filter and select filter. We're just going to select a filter because they should already be in LVI. So click on select filter and a drop down list will appear and I want you to click on buff indicator. And now on the far right side, there should be another drop down list called select spell. So if we click on that, I'm playing Rester Druid right now. So all of my buff indicators that are available show up on this drop down list. So let's start with rejuvenation. Right now, my rejuvenations already show up as a what's called a textured icon. So they don't show up as this pink color that you see right here. The actual rejuvenation icon shows up on my raid frames instead. What yours probably looks like is colored icon. So if you don't want the colored icon that shows up as this pink color here, you can select this drop down list and change it to textured icon, and that will appear as the actual icon on your raid frames. To show you what that looks like, I'm going to put a rejuve on myself in this first group, the top left raid frame. So I use rejuve. You can see that right here where my mouse is, that red circle, you can see the rejuve is on myself. So now I'm going to put life bloom on myself. These buff icons wouldn't actually show up in a raid, but for now it just shows up behind it. All right, now I put down an efflorescence. So you can see that I now have spring blossoms right here on the top in the center. And let me use wild growth. So wild growth shows up down here on the bottom right. You can change the placements. This is just where I have everything, but you can see that all of the icons show up instead of the colored icons. Let's change life bloom from textured icon to colored icon. And now you can see this kind of dark green showing up on all the frames. That is what it would show up as. At least for me, I would rather see the icons. On a mythic fight, I would get really confused between trying to figure out which colors belong to which ability while I'm also trying to do mechanics and heal everybody. So for me, I just like to see the icons. The next thing I want to show you is something that I prefer when it comes to my party frames and my raid frames. It's not for everybody, but it's something that really bothered me and I looked around for so long trying to find a script to fix. So whenever I am organizing a raid group, I really like to have the most amount of control over the in-game groups as possible. And when you're first sending out invites, if I only have a couple of people, let's say under five or under, then typically your party frames show up. So it'll look something like this. And when I first start a raid group, I don't use any extra add-ons or anything that control it for me, but usually when you start inviting people, it starts off as a party. And so I immediately change it to a raid. So I'll go down and I'll convert it to raid. You can see how my party changed to a raid frame. So my party frames look like this and a full 20 person group looks like this, at least for my raid frames. Now, LVY comes with a script that looks like this, right here under visibility. And this is the script that I use. It's not usually the one that comes with LVY when you first install it. So what ends up happening is when you invite a whole bunch of people to your party, even if you convert it to a raid, your party frames still show up. 
And that bothered me because I wanted my frames to look like I was in a raid. I wanted to be able to start organizing groups and have them reflect what the groups looked like. So if I wanted to move Merp to group one and I wanted to move myself to group two, you can see that it's reflected in my raid frames right here. But how LVY comes installed, if I only have two people in the raid so far, it's going to keep my party frames. It's not actually going to move my frames around. Merp would still be in group one and I'd be in group two but my party frames would still show as if we were in a dungeon party group. So what I wanna show you is a script that I use. The most important part is the at raid one no exists. Somebody else wrote this script for me, so I can't exactly tell you the logic behind it, but I can tell you what it does. So whenever I have more than one person in my group, it means that if I convert the group to a raid, the raid frames are also going to convert to a raid group. If we go over to my party frames, this is what I use under visibility for my party frames. So it's basically the exact same thing. I like this setup because again, it just gives me a little bit more control when I'm organizing raid groups. So if this is how you want your raid frame set up, then these are the scripts that I use. I will also post them in the description below. The next thing I wanna show you is how you can use Exorcist raid tools to show your raid cooldowns. I talked about this in part one and you can see on the left way over here, right now I'm in a raid group with Merp but he's out of range. So right now, the only cooldowns that show up are mine. So I track my Trank, I track my Tree, my Innervate, and my Iron Bark down here. I have my bar set up depending on what type of cooldown they are. So on the top left here is where all the healer cooldowns would go. So if there was a Disc Priest in the group, Barrier might show up. If there was a Holy Priest, Salvation and Divine Hymn might show up. If there were other Druids in the group that had Innervate, those would show up under mine. Your ERT raid cooldowns don't have to look like this though, and I want to show you how you could customize them. So if you have Exorcist raid tools, I want you to type slash ERT, and this brings up the Exorcist raid tools customization window. To select raid cooldowns, you're going to go right up here to this tab that says raid cooldowns. And it looks like a lot to work with, but if you take a little bit of time and kind of sort through the abilities that you actually want to track, it can be really helpful. If we scroll down a little bit more, you can see the single target abilities. So that's where you would track Iron Bark, Life Raccoon, Pain Sup, things like that. It's all up to you. You don't have to track all of these if you don't want to. Or let's say there's a fight that requires a lot of movement. If you wanted to track Stampeding Roar for that, maybe your group is stacking druids for some reason, you could decide to track that if you wanted to. Let's say I want to change the way that Enervate shows up. So if we go down here to Healer's Utility, that shows you that you could track Innervate and you could track Symbol of Hope. On the right here, it says column one and column three. Right now, I am tracking Innervate in column three. So if I wanted to change that, you would just use this slider here and you can move it up. It could go to column four and you can see on the left here that it would show up next to my Iron Bark or I could move it to a different column. Let's say I wanted it to go in column one. That would show up with the healer cooldowns. I want to keep Innervate separate from the healing cooldowns, so it's not going to stay in column one. Now, to change the appearance of these things, you would go up to this little tab way at the top here that says Appearance. So Innervate is in column three, so I'll click on that. And this is where you can change the lines, the width, the scaling, if you want to make it bigger or smaller. Right now it's at 125. Let's move this up to 174. You can see on the left here that it got much bigger. One of the things that I really like about the raid cooldowns feature in ERT is that it comes with templates. So if you click way down here at the bottom, this shows you pre-made templates that you can use and kind of tweak if you want to. If I wanted my cooldowns to show up a little bit bigger, I might use something like this. If I wanted them to be a little bit smaller, I could choose this one way down here at the bottom. If you didn't want to use a template though, and you just wanted to customize it on your own, there are all of these other tabs that you could go through to kind of tweak it a little bit. After I posted the healer add-ons and UI part one video, someone also asked me about chat settings. If you're someone who uses my LVUI profile, you can change the settings by going into the LVUI customization window. So type slash EC and now go to the chat tab on the far left side. Then under panels at the top here, and then on the way far right side, it says panel backdrop. You can either hide the backdrop or you can have it show. I hide mine just for style purposes. So if you want a backdrop, you could say left only because LVI comes with two chat windows. I just have one chat window showing, which is on the far left side here. 
So when I show the backdrop for the left window, you can see that it's kind of this off black gray color over here, or you can hide it and not have a backdrop. I hope you learned a few things from this video. Let me know in the comments if there are other parts of your UI that you want me to go over in the future. If you haven't seen the Healer UI and Add-ons video part one, you can do so by clicking right here on the screen.